The secret of getting successful work out of your trained men lies in one nutshell, in the clearness of the instructions they receive. The good fighters of old first put themselves beyond the possibility of defeat and then waited for an opportunity of defeating the enemy. Those skilled at making the enemy move do so by creating a situation to which he must conform. They entice him with something he is certain to take and with lures of ostensible profit, they await him in strength. He will win who, prepared himself, waits to take the enemy unprepared. If you wait by the river long enough, the bodies of your enemies will float by. He who is prudent and lies in wait for an enemy who is not will be victorious. Passivity means waiting for an opportunity. In good order, they await a disorderly enemy, in serenity, a clamorous one. This is control of the mental factor. Close to the field of battle, they await an enemy, coming from afar, at rest, an exhausted enemy, with well-fed troops, hungry ones. This is control of the physical factor. Whoever is first in the field and awaits the coming of the enemy will be fresh for the fight. He will win, who knows, when to fight and when not to fight. Appear weak when you are strong and strong when you are weak. Can you imagine what I would do if I could do all I can? Let your plans be dark and as impenetrable as night and when you move, fall like a thunderbolt. Victory comes from finding opportunities in problems. If the mind is willing, the flesh could go on and on without many things. Opportunities multiply as they are seized. The skillful employer of men will employ the wise man, the brave man, the covetous man, and the stupid man. Treat your men as you would your own beloved sons, and they will follow you into the deepest valley. When envoys are sent with compliments in their mouths, it is a sign that the enemy wishes for a truce. It is easy to love your friend, but sometimes the hardest lesson to learn is to love your enemy.